get lost, we can get high Because I'm gone, I feel alive Anywhere, anyway, I will love you We rule the world, just you and I Just let me down, we walk the line But now nothing's gone wrong, I'll take a shot for you Hello Virgo, this is Inspire 2016 with your yearly reading for the year of 2017. We hope that you have a very uh, happy new year. And as always, we already pre-shuffle the card for you prior to the reading. So let's see what is in store for you. So the first thing that we want to point out is that the way how we laid out the card is that we will draw 12 cards from the deck that represent each card uh, to to the according to the the each individual month of the year 2017 and we also will draw one more card which is uh, as a clarifying card at the bottom of the deck so let's see uh, what is in store for you so we begin the reading with uh, laying down the card for you i hope that you can see the card Okay, so the first uh, beginning of the year 2017, it looks like you are strong with your uh, goal and your aspiration and your wishes. It looks like you have been uh, clear with whatever uh, new year resolution that you have or the plan that you already uh, put it in place in your career or in your um, let's say personal life as well 
although those kind of things will also result on the overburden yourself let's say maybe you take on so many different uh, responsibility or so many different jobs uh, that comes your way because you know your goal and whatever you want in life so that means it looks like you have to take on on so many different uh, responsibilities and jobs and, and things like that other than that if you have been thinking for uh, changing career or changing uh, or finding a new job for instance by the beginning of from the beginning of the month oh, sorry from the beginning of the year it looks like you you will be able to uh, to find a new employment for yourself by indicating by this card and then afterwards if you have been working by early, uh, hourly basis and you may get a lot of overtime by the month of february and you will get a lot of uh, different opportunities uh, within uh, the first couple of uh, months of the year that you will be moving forward in your career life as well in terms of your personal life I don't see it in the beginning but it looks like it will come true for the rest of the reading so let's continue then so the by the springtime by the month of March you may have some kind of disagreements or conflicts within your career or it can also be within your personal life this kind of disagreement cannot be avoided can be because of let's say different ideas or different uh, let's say backgrounds or different kind of approach in life then may result this kind of disagreements the thing that you can control is just how the way you respond to these disagreements or this conflict kind of way and i see that if you you can finally resolve those conflicts and then becoming very joyful by the month of april here there will be some kind of celebrations or gatherings or kind of let's say if this one approaching to the summertime then it could also be something like a spring season uh, gatherings or summer uh, gathering and things like that then this code also indicates those type of thing and then by the may time towards the may time you may have some kind of betrayals or uh, some kind of uh, dis disappointment but I don't see this kind of thing will impact you for the long run it may be just simply because somebody uh, let's say cheated on you or some telling different story uh, or let's say didn't have a clear reason why they want to let's say leave the job or or didn't accomplish the, the things that they promises to you that could possibly uh, indicating strongly here by this card other than that, it, that I don't see any uh, difficulty on this thing it looks like you have to be strong as well on your approach towards others and then the begin and uh, by the month of June you will be uh, busy again with a lot of different uh, errands or different responsibilities in your life it could also be something like you work two or three jobs at the same time like say part-time job or full-time job at the same time you, you have to divide your time on that things or it could also be if you have been uh, thinking to changing jobs or changing career maybe you don't want you want to hide it from your current employer maybe when you find uh, new jobs let's say another side job and, and freelance job or things like that you don't want to tell your employer that could also indicate by these two cards but as a result you will be uh, even busier than before and you have to juggle so many different uh, jobs and responsibility and also have to be accomplished as well that you have to you know mindful of your personal life as well in this case like your family your friends and things like that and it looks like you be able to do that as well so that's the first half of the year of 2017 so the second half of the year it looks like you will have a lot of collaboration with several different people towards your career and uh, your finances looks like you were very grounded and you you are willing to approach people other people that are different backgrounds than you and to get a sense of you know different skills different capabilities and things like that although there might be some kind of loss or some kind of let's say mental poverty 
that I don't see this is impacting you in the long run but maybe you lost something something but are not really clear on that so let's see what is uh, the next card here you have a six of uh, heart which is indicating the six of cup it may be somebody from the past that are correlating here with the five of diamonds which is indicating in the traditional tarot deck would be the five of pentacles it's a mental poverty or like financial difficulties but not i don't see it i don't see it in in your side but it may be somebody from that are attached in your past that may be needing help from you towards this thing so maybe there are somebody that are close to you in the past that needed the, the financial assistance that they are let's say they lost their jobs or they lost their uh, let's say financial stabilities and things like that and you want to help um, approach them as well and then the by the <coughs> October month uh, you you looks like you will meet the person uh, with the trait of the king of heart which is the king of cups in the traditional tarot deck he's a very loving and emotionally balanced person that could also guide you through it could also be your uh, love interest as well if you're single and looking and it could also be somebody from your past that also uh, correlate with this king other than that if you're looking for a new job that could also be this king could be your new employer that can give you a man, uh, like emotional uh, stabilities not only the financial comfort but also emotional stabilities in your uh, career and also your personal life as well it could also be some kind of like like love affair in your in your workplace or let's say kind of those things but uh, yeah just don't go for that anyway just be straight and the last uh, quarter of the year it looks like you are moving forward you're still considering to move in the same direction as you are uh, if you are already changing job for uh, the, within this uh, period of time or you get a better uh, offer here and there and you may be still going to juggle those things running those errands until the end of the year although in the end of the year by December next year you feeling that you are stuck in your head and you don't feeling comfortable and confident on what you are doing maybe you're feeling tired because you still have to juggle a lot of different uh, jobs in some way and you don't want to do that anymore so it might be you want to drop some of your responsibilities by the end of the year and then moving forward with whatever the things that you still want to keep in life and in your work life so let's see what is your uh, overall uh, clarifying card here as your last card your card is the ace of diamonds so it looks like the ace of diamonds here in the traditional tower they will be the ace of uh, pentacles it looks like you have a very incredibly uh, abundance uh, in terms of your finances in terms of your uh, work uh, situations your work life and it looks like there are a lot of things happening in your life in terms of your changing job changing career although you may have some di disappointment here but I'll, other than that and also this mental poverty and things like that but it looks like you have developed a very good sense of financial stabilities in your career and in your personal life and uh, i don't see so much on the um, the love department but it looks like maybe there are somebody in your path that needing help from you and can also introduce you to this uh, gentleman to this king to to give you a lot of uh, emotional comfort or emotional stabilities in your uh, personal life for instance so i think that's overall uh, reading for you for the whole general 2017 yearly reading and i hope that this reading is helpful and if you liked the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel thank you